Hello everybody, this is Cinema Paradigm and I am Bharat, here as a raconteur. YouTube channel was a dream idea that I had a years ago. And this was the proper time to get into this platform. And meanwhile, I have watched stacks of movies already which I haven't reviewed in YouTube. And hence, I was probing for a right movie to begin my YouTube journey. I had an army of movies for my first review and of course, yes, it was a tough one to choose. Hence, I came up with one of the best among the Satyajit Ray's canon and it's none other than Agantuk. In English version, it's called as The Stranger, which stars Utpal Dutt, Mamata Shanko, Deepankar De and Bikram Bhattacharya. This isn't a review and Satyajit Ray movies need no reviews, but the study of it as an inspiration or case studies for future directors is vital. So what's special in this movie that leaves the audience transfixed by its own aesthetical world and adda or room for intellectual discussion? Aguntuk is about an unknown guest that is played by Manmohan Mitra, who visits his niece whom he has never met. She and her husband initially refuse to believe this. And aftermath is the classic narrative that unfolds the beauty of filmmaking in the stance of Satyajit Ray. This movie is a depiction of Satyajit Ray's modus operandi, tenets and ethics that he follow. The movie cleverly discusses the philosophical notions or hypothesis with well-written dialogues. Every character is well-established and carries moral intent. For a moment, this movie reminds me of Arun Joshi's famous novel, The Strange Case of Billy Biswas. Because it has the same conflict and thought process in the minds of the lead character, especially when it comes to philosophy. In one of the longest conversations in the movie, the lead character speaks about the civilized and uncivilized, spirituality and belief in God, also refers to William Shakespeare, Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud and Tagore. And let me remind you, this movie was released in 1991. This one conversation scene epitomizes the quality which Bengali or Indian movies demanded in the epoch of Ray. Undoubtedly, I would like to call it as a ray of hope in Indian cinema. When it comes to staging and framing, no one can overshadow Mr. Ray. It is the finest we see for ages. When all is said and done, I would like to make obvious of my method that I will be following with the upcoming movie reviews and breakdowns or call it as analysis. I always look for ethical, aesthetical and power of writing values in the movie and technical features falls in second. I will be coming with various movies from various languages and cinema as no distinct language other than craft and art. That's what I believe in. Before winding up, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support is significant in developing some conscious room for discussion. Let's meet again with another movie review. Until then, bye.